Hi kids, it's good to see you. Today we're going to make a craft. So first thing we want to do is get all of our supplies together. So I have several colors of construction paper, lots of fun colors to work with. I have a big marker so that we can write our message on our card. I'm going to use a crayon today to trace my handprint in my butterfly design. You could use a pencil, you could use a marker, you could use a pen, whatever you like. I have some scissors to cut out my design. Now make sure that you ask mom or dad's help before you get your scissors out. We're going to need to glue our butterfly together. So I have some glue. I have regular old white Elmer's glue, kind of boring, but gets the job done. Or a favorite in our home, glitter glue. It's super sparkly, really sticky, and a lot of fun to use. So I think we're going to use this one today. And I have some things to decorate our butterfly with. We have some paint, if we want to paint our butterfly. I got my paintbrush and some blue paint. And I have some pom-poms. I have different colors and different sizes pom-poms. A lot of fun. And foamy shapes. If you have foamy shapes, this is a great time to use them. You can put them and decorate your butterfly. And I have a found item, because sometimes we don't always have craft supplies, so we use found items in our home. These are stickers that we found on Daddy's desk. <clears throat> now, we want to make sure that we ask Mom and Dad before we use their stickers, their stamps, or anything that is in their spaces. But you might be able to find buttons, or stickers, or who knows what. You never know what you might find laying around the house. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to pick a color for the wings of our butterfly. Hmm, do you have a favorite color? I like green. Green is my favorite. So we're going to use green for our butterfly. Now my hands are probably bigger than yours, so I'm not going to be able to use my whole handprint for this picture, for, for my card. Because when I fold my paper in half to make my card shape, if I put my hand on it, it's too big. Hopefully your hands are smaller. So I'm just going to draw a picture of a hand. Now there's my hand print. I'm going to cut this out. All done. When we open our paper, we have the same picture on both sides. And look, it makes a card. And it makes the shape of butterfly wings. This looks great. So now we've got to make the butterfly body and head. So we're going to choose a second color. What color would go nice with my green? Hmm. Yellow? That's a great idea. Now I don't want to make my body too big. So I'm going to measure here and here. All right. Now let's make let's draw our body pieces. We're going to draw a long shape and a round shape. So we're going to make the body and the head. We have a body and a head. Now you could make your head different shapes. I chose round like a circle, but you could make your head diamond, heart shape, square, whatever you think would be most beautiful for your butterfly. We've got to glue these pieces onto our butterfly to start making the shapes look right. I'm going to use the sparkle glue because it's so much fun. Oh! 
Oh, look at that! My thumbs make antennas. That is really neat. And you're going to want to wait a couple of minutes for your glue to dry. So for my project, I chose to use some foamy cutouts. And I picked different color hearts. So now I'm going to glue them onto my butterfly wings to make designs. What a beautiful looking butterfly. Now I'm going to use my marker to draw some eyes and a smiley face. That's a great looking butterfly. Now comes the special part. Take your big marker and write a special message. I wrote, I love you, on this one. Now you could write, I love you, happy birthday, we miss you, have a great day. Whatever special message you want to write on there for somebody. Or you could write a Bible verse. And now it's all done. What a great butterfly card. So here's another butterfly that we made. This one's a little bit smaller. So we used this envelope to size our paper so that when we made our butterfly and folded it, it would fit in this envelope. And this one, we chose yellow and purple. And look, I made a heart shape for the head instead of a round circle. And we used paint to paint the wings a pretty color. And inside, it says, we miss you. This will be a great surprise for somebody special. So send us a picture of your butterfly cards. We'd love to see what you made at home. A big one? A little one? Did you miss somebody? Or are you just reminding them that you love them? Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope that you enjoyed making your butterfly card as much as somebody will enjoy getting it. Let's pray together before we go. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for loving us. Thank you for putting so many beautiful things in creation that we can see how much you care for all things and how you've put beauty before us. Lord, we thank you that we can know you through Jesus Christ, your Son, that when we put our trust and faith in him as our Lord and Savior, that you take us in as your children, that you forgive us of all of our sins, and that we can enjoy your company. Lord, we thank you for all the special people that you've put into our lives. Help us to remember them and help us to tell them how special they are to us. We love you. Amen.